Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Thursday, June 13th, 2013. We're we'll looking at several different major markets today to try to get an understanding of what's fixing to happen in the U.S. And so it's important that you pay attention to this video. Looking at the FTSE, starting off with the main thing I want to draw your attention to, we talked about this back when it was happening, and we told you that you're going to come down here and take out this low point here and here, right? So that's actually happened today. You pierced it. You didn't close below, but you're going to. But anyway, you have pierced it. Uh, and that basically means you're taking out the low, and you'll be going to test that low again. So it's important to note that whenever you take taking out a low, it's a, it's a longer term um, perspective is showing a downward uh, bias here in a downward a bearish market. You're able to close below the 50 period moving average. This is something we've showing you on many, many charts. But the main thing I want to draw your attention to today is the fact that you are going to cut closing below this low point. Now let's see where else this is happening. Okay, here we are looking at the Hong Kong Hang Sing Index, and you will notice the same overall story. And basically, the same thing we're telling you is going to happen, happen. You took at this low point uh, with the price activity. We told you back when this formed, this is not a hammer kind of formation. It's actually a sell signal at the 200 period moving average, indicating to you that price was going to close below and sell off below the 200 period moving average. That's exactly what has happened. No question whatsoever. I'll update the stop when I'm, and when I'm done with this video. So you can check the charts at the free website at perfectstockler.com to see where my stops are at at that point. Uh, but right now, I just want to bring your attention to the fact that you're taking out this low again and again and again. We look around the, the globe. You either have it taken out or you have like the BSE is it's like in the halfway point. It's still moving its way that direction, but it's, it's going to take it out. Okay, here we are looking at Australia's market, the AORD. You can see the same basic overall thing, same thing we told you was going to happen. Took out this low, note the sell point down here, not the hammer cast at formation at the bottom. And again, it was a sell signal indicating that we're going to be trading down here below the 50, which means we're going to be going down below the 200 period moving average, which is exactly what happened. Took out the low and closed below, and et cetera, et cetera. So this is all perfectly in line, makes perfect sense. What's causing all this? Well, it's Japan. So let's go look at Japan. Okay, here we are looking at the Nikkei or the Nikkei. Uh, you can see in this particular chart, very massive move to the downside happened today. And it, it's important to note that the uh, ETF that tracks, the EWJ that tracks the, the, the uh, this particular chart, the Nikkei, is not actually in line with it right now. There's a divergence forming there. So it's important to take note. I'll, I'll probably mark that chart for an opportunity to sell it. But the main thing here is today's activity, very bearish, uh, down 843 points. And then we have a continuation signal to the downside. No signs of stopping here in any way, shape, or form. We're not even trading on the or below the um, lower Bollinger Band line here. We have lots of room to move to the downside. That means you're taking out this level here. Again, you're seeing the same thing again and again and again and again and again. Uh, and and the, the only place you're not seeing that is in the U.S. And that's a problem because they're betting that this gets resolved quickly. Well, what happens if it doesn't? That's the real problem. And so let's go look at the U.S. chart. The main thing to remember, this right now is not showing in any way, shape, or form that they're stopping, that they're, we're actually seeing this is uh, speeding up to the downside. There's no, no sign of... Um, support here, any of that thing. So keep an eye on that. Uh, also point out that again, same thing I've been pointing out before. Whenever you're peaking at the 60 line, unable to get up here above the 70 line, you've turned into a bear mark and the ultimate oscillator often works that way. And that's how it is indicating uh, the strength of the move to the downside here. So again, no signs whatsoever of uh, a peak or um, a support area. If we go further down and we look at the actual uh, MACD, you can see that you are actually diverging away from the signal line here, this black line here is diverging away. It was contracting while they paused there and that little bounce and now we're diverging away again. So the, the following move that's coming could be completely dwarfed the one we've already seen. So again, keep an eye on this. Okay, so now here we are looking at the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It won't matter if you look at the Dow, the S&P, the uh, NASDAQ, etc. They're all going to basically look about the same. And all you have going on is this little little bitty pullback, a little 3% to the downside, then bounce the upside. And we sell off, and we bounce the upside. Uh, we're really not take, taking off down to the downside here and taking out this low, which we're seeing happen and, and globally uh, developing. And so this is concerning uh, for the simple reason that uh, they're basically, bulls are bet, basically betting on the fact that it's not a big deal that uh, Japan's going to be sold. But what if it doesn't? Well, if it doesn't, then you're going to find out that all of this was wrong, that their entire theory was wrong. And in fact, you are going to take it out. However, if it waits too long, then what ends up happening is this becomes hot air. And so you can gap down literally from this point down to this point. Uh, and that's potentially uh, setting up in front of you. And you're starting to see signs of that psychology already. You've already seen that happen in Japan's market. Uh, you saw that with the ETF. Uh, you, you've already seen uh, massive gaps uh, this week or as far as yesterday or I should say today um, in Europe. And so that was another sign again with uh, the Hong Kong Hang Seng Index. The chart shows massive gap to the downside. Uh, this is not a place that you want to be buying this market anticipating that, oh, no, it's, it's going to be fine. We're just going to 
and keep rolling to the upside. In fact, what I believe is happening, and someone's going to ask me, is today's market rally just uh, the Fed manipulation, that kind of a thing? If you look at the volume, it would it would indicate that there's nothing here to uh, support the rally to the upside because the volume is, is just uh, really, really shallow. You haven't seen anything this low in, in quite a while. Uh, and at the same time, to point out that this is, this is less volume than you saw in the previous rally here, so it wouldn't bode well for bulls. Uh, another thing to point out, again, when you have these situations and you're just doing the same thing you did last week, what did you gain from it last week? Nothing. So why would you gain anything this week? You're not. Look at the long-term charts. All right, so here we are looking at the long-term chart. You can see this week's activity, though it's not finished. The week's not finished, so you could alter this. Right now, all you're seeing is a hammer candlestick formation like you saw last week. Didn't give you anything last week. Won't give you anything this week because you've got this massive sell signal here and here, and you've got this resistance that was support, and now it's acting as resistance here. Uh, this, along with the upper Bollinger Band line, all these things tell you you've got just a head headwind right here that's just not... Uh, a good place to be buying. Your, your upside potential is here and your downside potential is the Lord knows how far. Okay. If you're a short term trader, you're obviously believing that the sell off is over. However, the MACD or the MACD, it does not tell you the same thing. It indicates that it's not over. It's not even begun yet. You'll notice here you're converging here with the signal line is preparing to cross native on the uh, uh, red line here that would be bearish cross to the downside and it it's what comes before the good sell-off that follows and so it's important to note your your move isn't over it's not even really begun here in the u.s but again as long as uh, japan continues to uh, nosedive it's going to have to play a game of catch-up if it doesn't uh, shake it off so that's really really important and it's something i thought you should know Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.